Hi, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. This is going to be episode 13. Uh, last episode, we uh, defeated Quaylog and uh, the Ceaseless Discharge. This episode, we are heading. We headed from Fire Lake Shrine uh, all the way to Sen's Fortress. Now, this is where the blacksmith is located. The entrance is across the bridge um, by the bonfire. So, uh, yeah. What we're going to be doing here is uh, line of sighting. There's two snake guards up ahead. We're going to line of sight uh, and pull them one at a time. That way, uh, it'll be a bit, a bit of an easier fight. Um, so, yeah. Get the old backstab with the, uh, the two hander. Line of sight that uh, second one. I'll bring him right out here. Another strat you can use is you can actually use that pressure plate that shoots the darts. Uh, you can use that to deal a pretty good amount of damage to those things uh, as they're coming up. So. The backstabs aren't too bad. Uh, something else to note I have leveled up slightly. Um, and I did uh, upgrade the axe, I believe, to plus five. So it's now doing comparable damage uh, to the crystal sword, which I am no longer using. So this axe will be uh, used until I get a Black Knight weapon. probably the hardest part of Sense Fortress. Now I'm not going to spend a ton of time in this place looking for items and things like that. Also uh, right here in this spot, it's a safe spot for now, um, there is a magic caster to the top right of me, the upper right. Uh, what you need is a bow and just a few arrows, you don't need a whole lot. Just checking to see if that snake spawned there. It, ha it hasn't spawned there yet. Uh, occasionally there is a snake there guarding that entrance. So, uh, there is the magic caster. Oh, and uh, make sure to have arrows in the correct slot. <laughs> that will help. I'm going to readjust, uh, reposition here. There we go. Headshots do the most damage. Not really. Actually, the way it damage works with the bow is uh, if you hit the, the part of the body that's the closest to you, that's the spot that will do the most damage. So, take that as you will. I think after this video, I've got uh, one last uh, pre-made, pre-recorded video to do some audio recording over. It'll be the next episode after this, and then after that, I'm going to be recording the episodes with audio again, and I can't wait to get back to that because I love playing this game. It's one of my favorite games to play. Honestly, Dark Souls, in, in, just in general, super fun, awesome game. All of them. I even like Dark Souls 2. Not a, lot, not a lot of people like Dark Souls 2, but I uh, I have a place in my heart for those. For Dark Souls 2. So that enemy's gonna get hit by the boulder. It does not get killed. See, I feel like that boulder does way more damage to me than it does to the snake guy. I 
I'm just going to reposition the snake because uh, he is just not allowing me to uh, kill him. Which he should. He should just bow down and let muscle flex. See, if I'm not dual wielding or not dual wielding, but two handing that weapon, it does like almost no damage to these things. But if I put it in both hands, I feel like uh, that is. That's the way. That's the only way. So, anyway, heading through the door. Watch out for the boulder! Oh, I got hit by the boulder. Here it comes, and move! There's gonna be another alcove right up here you can duck into. You're gonna have to go into that fog door. But uh, right now we're just going to let this thing uh, finish its attack pattern. It's going to come down here. That's going to happen. And we're going to go inside uh, the store up here. That's not a mimic. Uh, for future reference, uh, mimics in this game, uh, there's a chain that comes off the right side of a treasure chest. If the chain is pointing away from you, an example, the chain is pointing towards the back of the chest, not where you open it, but the back end of the chest, it is not a mimic. If the chain is pointing towards you, like where the chest opens. The chest is a mimic. So just something to keep uh something to keep in mind. Got another pressure plate here. Uh, figure out where it comes from. Looks like it comes from behind us. We're going to go ahead and uh, roll right on through. Of course, there's a snake enemy right there. The backstab. We need to probably get one more. And the snake is dead. So this is where it gets a little sketchy. still took off a ton of health. So, just goes to show you, try to be as quick as you can when those boulders are coming at you. This room's kind of weird. What you gotta do here is, uh, there's a couple of little puzzles that you can do in here. One will uh, break a wall that allows you to unlock another NPC. And, uh, the other one will fill up a hole and then break the wall and you'll be able to get, uh, a brick. We're going to do both of those. We're going to do both of those, uh, s those things real quick here.
avoided the big trap there. We're almost through this area now. Coming up is probably the hardest part of uh, this little area. In terms of like the blades and stuff like that. That's actually the easy one, you can just sprint through that. Are pretty much uh, yeah, this part right here. Uh, this part kills people <laughs> in Sense Fortress. I've seen it happen so many times on like live streams and things like that. Um, let's more let's play videos, things like that. Uh, it's not gonna kill me, but it does kill people. As you can see, that is the way to deal with, the, with those things. fog door. Not a boss, though. Uh, this is an interesting part of the level, uh, Sense Fortress. It's, uh, I kind of like it, uh, but you gotta kind of move quick here in the beginning. I, of course, just have to get the item. We'll get the bonfire, too. If I can get around the stairs. Alright, we're gonna go back up. Got a few things to do in this area uh, before we can call it. Get those large titanite shards. We're gonna kill uh, Mr. Shield Man. I was trying to get the backstab on him, but I just can't do it. But I found that uh, three hits staggers him from the, the axe. So... I won't worry too much about that guy. He's like... As I just showed you, it's... He's not a threat. Kind of a fast ad that, uh, you know, whatever. This guy could be a pain in the butt. But he's got a very nice sword for, for dex builds. That right there is what makes him a pain in the butt. That parry.
I gotta say, fighting in close quarters with an axe that swings um, horizontally, not the most ideal thing in the world. But there you go. In order to get that to swing vertically, uh, you do that jump attack, which is uh, tapping forward and uh, strong attack at the same time. So on PlayStation 4 controller, it is forward and R2. Alright, so that one's good and that one's good. I always check for mimics before I start opening chests because... Uh, Because mimics are kind of scary in, in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I actually, uh, a little bit off uh, topic here. I actually ran into a uh, mimic on um, Dark Souls 2. First ever mimic I've ever run into in that game. Um, on stream, so that was interesting. Now that's why right there the, uh, it's a little bit dangerous. Take your time here until you so you take care of that giant that's throwing those. It's better to just move as fast as you can. That's going to require the cage key. Uh, you're going to get that eventually. To open that. That's a shortcut to uh, the start of Sen's Fortress. And uh, also to unlock uh, the NPC out of their cage, which we will be, we'll be seeing that shortly. And here is the giant that is throwing the fireballs. So we're going to take care of him. Titanite chunk. And uh, that was pretty much it for that giant there. Definitely want to be uh, doing that. Because that'll make traveling around this little area a lot safer. It's actually really dangerous if you let that boss do that to you. So you can't just throw you straight off the, uh, the bridge here.
just like that. That could have been pretty much the, the fight. So I died. Uh, I left that in because uh, why not? But anyway, um, we're heading back up. And what I'm doing now is I took off uh, my outfit so I'd be lighter because I'm going to uh, try to make this jump here. Did not, but I landed right next to an item, so I'm gonna grab that. The sniper crossbow, probably one of the most use, uh, useless weapons in the game. So why did you put that in there? I have no idea from software, but uh, the sniper crossbow is absolute garbage. Do not use it. Don't use crossbows, period. Just use a longbow and upgrade that. That's all you need. So I didn't have the angle right on this jump. We're gonna try it again. There we go. But I Ah, oh, you think yes. So Yeah, so he sells large Titanite. He also sells uh, a couple of rings that are good. And uh, the Katarina Knight set, the Onion Knight set, and the Steel set. Uh, so that's where you buy that stuff. Also, the, uh, the large Titanite shards. Um, are pretty valuable, uh, but you do need the large ember to upgrade using the large titanite shards, so um, it would make sense to get that large ember. Um, so I'm just baiting this guy in. Getting him dead and uh, grabbing this item over here, which is the cage key. That's what you need. Um, so I suppose in a way it was actually a really good thing that uh, that I died at that boss fight before going to NR Londo because um, if I hadn't have, I might have forgot to pick up the cage key, and then that would have made meant even more. Um, backtracking so now what I did there was I just put my clothes back on obviously um, and yeah so now I'm just we're going back up we're gonna give that boss fight another go
So we're making our way back over, uh, trying to be quick because of that guy shooting the arrows at us with the crossbow. Seems like crossbows work well for NPCs, not so much for, you know, us, the user. So, yeah, like I said, there's like no way to do, like, to do the aim with the crossbow. That's the worst part of it. Chipping away at him. I couldn't get him to do his thing where if you uh, if you kill him, if you if you get him to a certain spot and he falls over, then he'll actually fall off the bridge. I couldn't get that to work correctly. So. Pretty lucky there. Right, we got him staggered again. Just keep chipping away at him, and uh... he's actually he's kind of a pushover boss. Really, like, the only danger you ever run into is if he knocks you off the edge. Next episode will be in Orlando. Um, we'll be uh, backtracking a little bit, but uh, if you made it here without being a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Uh, also, if you like the video, leave a like. That helps out the channel a lot, and uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.